Hi, this is Miss Julie. Today I'm going to read you part of the book called Turtles and Snails. I'm only going to read you the part about turtles. And then if you stay on at the end, my sister's going to show you her real turtle, whose name is T. Turtles and other animals with shells live all over the world. One of the largest turtles is the giant tortoise. A giant tortoise can weigh as much as three people put together. Most turtles that live on land are called tortoises. On the other page, there are freshwater turtles. The bright green one on the left is called the red-eared slider. The one in the middle that's green is called the European pond turtle. And the one on the right that has jag jaggedy edges is called the spiny turtle. If you look at the left side of this page, we can see the underside of all the turtles we just learned about. And if you look at the right side of the page, the thing you might notice first is right in the middle of the page, it's a turtle, it says a turtle shell is part of its skeleton and cannot be separated. And there you can see a picture of what a skeleton of a turtle looks like. Up above, there's the red-eared slider's head, that's the bright green one on the left, and then the middle one is a soft shell turtle head. It's the European pond turtle. And the one on the right is a snapping turtle head, and that's the spiny turtle. Shells help protect turtles from harm. Most turtles pull their head, feet, and tail into their shell when they sense danger. Primitive turtles pull their head in sideways. More advanced turtles can pull their heads straight into their shells. Land turtles eat plants. Freshwater turtles eat plants and small animals. Sea turtles eat crabs, turtle grass, sponges, and jellyfish. Some turtles live in marshy areas, like the European pond turtle. Others live on land, like the spurred tortoise, the desert tortoise, the box turtle, and the hingeback tortoise. These turtles live in salty water. The diamondback terrapin, that's the one at the top with the blue legs, and the one under it called the hawksbill turtle. And the two bottom turtles live in fresh water. They're the soft shell turtle, that's the green one with the dots on it, and the mata mata, which is the strange looking orange rust colored turtle at the bottom. These are freshwater turtles, the big headed turtle and the spiny soft shell turtle. And these are sea turtles the leatherback turtle, the green turtle, and the sea turtle. Freshwater turtles have webbed toes, which help them swim. Sea turtles have flippers. This excellent swimmer can weigh hundreds of pounds. That's one of the sea turtles. In the spring, turtles mate. Several weeks later, the female digs a hole in the ground and lays her eggs. Then she covers them up and leaves them to hatch. Sunshine keeps the eggs warm. Turtles hatch out of their eggshells when they are ready to be born. That can be from several months to more than a year after the mother leaves. The newborn turtles scramble up through the dirt to the surface. This is T, and she is a box turtle. And the reason that they call them box turtles is that she can pull in her arms and her legs, and she has in her head. 
she has a tail that she can tuck if she wants to. And she can close up her shell. See this line here? This folds up and up to here. So if she if she pulls her head and her arms in, then she can close this like a door kind of. And then she looks sort of like um, a rock. Or like she's in a box. So that's why they call them box turtles. The box turtles are turtles are reptiles. So they're not like people. But in some ways they are. So T has some of the same things that you have. Like she has two eyes and she has a nose and she has a mouth and she has arms and she has legs and she has ears but you can't see them. They're inside. So she doesn't have ears like we do that are that you can see from the outside. But this is where her ears are. And we don't have shells, of course, and we don't have tails like she does. Around so you can see her tail. Uh, another difference is that T came out of an egg. Well, people don't come out of eggs, but turtles come out of eggs. And here's here's about how big T was. This is a little model of a turtle hatching out of an egg. And that's about the size that T was when she hatched out of her egg. And they have a little, little um, hard part on their, on their face called an egg tooth. And they use that to break the egg. They tap on it from the inside with their egg tooth and they break the egg open and they come out. So T was this big when she hatched and now she's this big. And she's at least 44 years old. So she's not real big, but she's 44 years old. Um, I'll show you the, the inside of a turtle shell. <clears throat> so this is, this is a, another turtle shell. That, oh, I don't know where I got this, but a turtle used to live in this. Now turtles don't come out of their shells when they're alive. They, they stay in their same shell for their whole life. And you see that down the middle there, that's the backbone of this turtle that lived in this shell. So turtles are attached to their shells. They can't come out of their shells like hermit crabs can. Um, something else that's the same about T is that she probably likes to eat some of the same things that you like to eat. She likes to eat fruits like strawberries and bananas and blueberries and she likes to eat shrimp. I don't know if you like to eat shrimp. But something that she eats that you don't eat are bugs. She does like to eat bugs. Um, and she likes to play outside in the sun. She was outside today. She likes to crawl around and climb. And she, people say that turtles are slow and she moves slowly, but if she wants to, she can move pretty quickly for a little while. She can run kind of fast. And something else is T is a girl. And one way that we can tell she's a girl is from her eyes. Can you see what color her eyes are? She's a little nervous because the camera's right by her head, but her eyes are brown. If she were a boy, her eyes would be red. And that's one way you can tell a boy turtle from a girl turtle. Uh, one more thing is, see how her neck, when she pulls her head in, her neck kind of folds like that, and that's, that's how we got turtlenecks. People wear turtleneck sweaters. They probably got the idea from looking at a turtle because you see how her neck folds up around her head like, like that. That's what turtleneck shirts look like. So that's a little bit about tea, and I hope you enjoyed learning about her.